Hi, Deborah Roth here at Spirited Musings. Delighted to be back with you to take another look at some lunar reflections and specifically at the new moon coming up on January 30th. You can read more if you're in the New York City area about the new moon sister circle that I'll be facilitating on actually the night before on Wednesday the 29th at my website spiritedliving.com but I want to give you for those of you that aren't in New York uh, and just to prepare you for this wild and wonderful new moon uh, just to give you probably be a quickie today a little overview of what you can do to really capture this this energy um, I often over the years in the, the gosh 18 years I think I've been doing women's circles I've always used the the Aquarius new moon as a time to really capture what's uh, different and unique and special and bodacious and wild about us as women. It's uh, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, which is the rebel, one of the reasons that I do that. Now Aquarius is also known as uh, being a community builder and it, and it rules friendships and groups and has to do with things um, coming in uh, unexpectedly and creating new awarenesses and new awakenings. So that energy, the, the Aquarius new moon energy, is really wonderfully in sync, kind of in a quieter way, with a major event that's happening in the, in the wheel of the year. And that's that on February 2nd, three days after the new moon this year, will be the cross, the, the cross quarter point known as, well, we know it nowadays as Groundhog Day. Um, it's, it started out as Imolk. Uh, which means oil, um, use milk in the Celtic lands, uh, you know, across Europe. It's a midwinter celebration, the Feast of Bridget. Wonder if Bridget's just an uh, incredibly evocative, powerful um, Celtic goddess, known as Candlemas in, in the Catholic Church, is a time of purification. So, what we're going to do in our circle on on Wednesday, and I I really encourage you to play with this if you can't join us, is to look at how we can use the, the purification energy of, of Imolk, of the Feast of Bridget. It's that, that, that time in the Wheel of the Year was known as a time for uh, really weeding out our inner garden and getting ready for new seeds to grow. It's the time of quickening of just possibilities and potentials, just the whisper. There's not, not any sign of spring really yet. And we're going to use that energy of potential and possibility uh, with and, and, and connect it with our wild woman manifesting, our wild woman birthing. So I would encourage you to create some sacred space for yourself. You might try to find some images of some wonderful wild women. I have Babo here will be on our altar um, at our new moon circle. She's a Greek goddess that she's lifting her skirt. She's, um, she's the goddess that got Demeter to stop grieving <laughs> so, that, uh, she, so that the world could be in bloom again. She's pretty bodacious. I won't go into great detail. You can find all about Balbo. This one, truly bodacious. This is Sheila Nagig. She's an ancient Celtic figure that, uh, for obvious reasons, um, is very powerful for women. It's just a total out there celebration of who we are as women and, and our birth giving uh, potential. Isn't she amazing? She, she's gonna be on our, on our altar at the circle too. So I invite you to tap into that bodacious, audacious energy and take some time first in the spirit of the, the upcoming Imolk purification energy. In fact, this new moon is known as the lunar Imolk uh, it's, and by the way, that's spelled, spelled I-M-B-O-L-C. And think about what you want to sweep away. What's getting in the way of your amazing, uninhibited, irreverent, bodacious, wild woman, inner wild woman from really manifesting herself? Think about what's getting in the way of that. Write it down, burn it, sweep it away, dump it in water somewhere, however you want to get rid of those blocks. And then take some time to really envision how you want to invite your wild woman self to make herself more known. I mean, for me, it was getting into fun, funky earrings when I left the corporate world um, or letting my hair just 
go gray naturally. It's not very full right now. Sometimes it looks pretty wild in the summer with its natural curl, but not in dry New York City apartments. Uh, one year, we all made these, these little wild woman figures um, in our circle and just imbued her with all of the ways that we want to embrace that part of ourselves that maybe we don't very often. So play with all those ideas. I really invite you to, on the, on the new moon this week, on the, the 30th, and carrying in that energy into, into the Imolk uh, celebration, into Groundhog's Day, and thinking about what potential you have to step into your wild woman self as we move through the, the last couple months of winter. I'd love to hear your stories. Please email me, message me, however you can reach out to me. Spirited Living, Deborah at spiritedliving.com. I'd love to hear your stories. Bye for now.